the water was rising so fast, I wouldn't have been able to get out. Hurricane Ike was a major storm that caused $30 billion worth of damage and killed um, hundreds of people, but it could have been much worse. Basically, Hurricane Ike missed the majority of the Houston region. And that's hard to believe with the type of damage we had. But if it had been 30 miles further down the coast in the San Luis Pass area, if it had come ashore down there, we could have easily had $100 billion in damage and could have easily had thousands and thousands of lives lost rather than what happened. We identified the Houston Ship Channel as being the premier area for protection and vulnerability. We got a direct quote from the U.S. Coast Guard uh, that said essentially if the ship channel were to go down from a major storm surge hurricane hit for a couple of months, we're looking at $60 billion damage and impact to the, to the national economy. Our recommendation, based on pretty careful study of this whole problem, was to recommend a gate-type structure, a Rotterdam-style gate structure across the mouth of the ship channel in and around or near where the Hartman Bridge currently crosses. Then bringing that down into the West Bay area as, as area number two, we would be looking at proposal to, to potentially elevate, uh, for example, Highway 146. That's one of the proposals we're looking at. And if you elevated that highway, you would then be protecting everyone to the west of that highway. And obviously, folks that live to the east of that highway would not, would not be protected in, the, in this plan. Galveston Island itself, you can't protect the whole island, we don't think, but you can probably protect the historical area and the main area where, where, where industry and UTMB uh, reside. And then finally, a far-reaching proposal to look at a coastal recreational area, which would be a very unique setting for the whole region with Galveston as kind of the, the shining point where all of that emanates from, similar to what goes on out at the Golden Gate Bridge in the Boston Harbor area, and there, there are some of these also in Florida as well. Well, in the work we've done at Speed Center, we've really tried to be practical. Uh, we think that there are a lot of pie-in-the-sky projects that'll never get built, and we've got a major problem in the Houston region, and we need to come up with real solutions.